What's going on and welcome to the video. Right, we have a very exciting one today. I'm on my way to meet George and the guys from Advice Academy. We're gonna be doing some skills challenges, have a little Q&A as well. But just for a brief background, let me tell you a little bit about Advice Academy. So Advice Academy, besides being a very prominent social media account, is a rugby-based non-profit organization that does some really incredible things. Not only do they provide great content, support, and advice, obviously, for young, underprivileged, up-and-coming rugby players, they also do something which I think is pretty incredible. Advice Academy are running rugby camps in half term for state educated rugby players which cost exactly nothing and I think that is just incredible. Yes they're running free rugby camps for people from lower socio-economic backgrounds. They're providing great content on the daily as well as excellent help and support for young rugby players. So I'm currently on my way to Gloucester, Hartbury University to be a little bit more precise. Hence why we're at services to meet Advice Academy. I'm very excited we're going to be doing some skills, we're going to be having a little sit down, having a bit of a Q and a and it should be a really great day and a great video. Can you please like this video and can you please subscribe to my channel? I'm getting sick of saying it guys because I know that some of you sat there watching this won't have subscribed. And I don't want to hear, oh Dan, I haven't got a YouTube account. I didn't have one. Guess what I did? I made one. Without further ado, let's crack on with the rest of this journey. Let's get to Hartbury and let's meet up with Advice Academy. Let's go. We are here with George from Advice Academy. George, how are you, mate? Yeah, all good. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much for having me. So today we're gonna do a little bit of content both for your Instagram channel and yeah. a little bit for this video as well. Before we get started, do you just wanna give anyone watching a little bit of an intro, a little bit of an insight into what Advice Academy is all about? Of course, yeah. Um, hi guys, my name is George. Uh, I'm the founder of Advice Academy, which provides to offer opportunities to state educated rugby players, male and female through uh, free half-term camps. And we've got one coming up in February. And some pretty sweet content in there as well. Yes, and some, <laughs> yeah, some nice content on the Instagram. All right, what have you got planned for me today then? Oh. Um, just get a kicking session in. Go through um, a few punts and then a few shots at goal. I hear you might have some stash for me as well. Is yeah. that true? Yeah, some stash over Get there. in. Thank you very much. A batch. So, little warm up done. We're gonna get the tees involved now. We're just gonna start with some sort of 30, 40% effort down the channel goal kicking. What's the sort of science behind that? Just going for a more process, process based <laughs> approach rather yeah. than, yeah. You Taking the post it. out the equation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. post out the um, equation, stiff ankle, uh, long follow through, emphasizing body to target. Yeah, basically we saw Farrell and Ford do it once, so we... Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we're doing it. No, but I think it is good a lot of the time to sort of take away the whole, did I get it through the post? Because sometimes that can be a pretty nasty kick and it's not really a sort of technique that you want to stick with. Goal kicking is a very personal thing, I'd say. Yeah. Not in a weird way, but do you know what I mean? Everyone's got their own sort of, their own sort of way that they naturally want to kick a ball. So for this, it's just taking the, taking the result out of the equation, just getting a nice contact through the ball. Happy days. What are your sort of triggers? What are you thinking about when you're sort of setting up a kick? Um, valve, heaviest part of the ball, towards target, valve and seam. Um, trying to open up a bit of a sweet spot here. And then it's just four steps at a 45 degree angle. Bit of breath work and then just coming through nice and smooth down the channel. Emphasize follow through. Do you find doing this sort of drill, it sort of helps maybe take the pressure off the kick yeah, completely. to start when you're just trying to find your rhythm? Yeah. I find this pre-game is massive because if you shank a few kicks early doors, you'll be thinking about it for the first kick. So I, I don't kick a 
post pre-game. You just go down the channel? Yeah, just down channel. Um, it's all about feel, the kinesthesia. That was a bit of a shank, to be honest. Like I said, the big thing with goal kicking for me is that it's very personal. I know I tend to come at the ball from quite an angle, almost like a corner kick in football. But for me, that's just always how I felt comfortable kicking a ball. I had a coach back in sort of academy days when I was much younger that sort of said, just make the ball as sort of appealing to hit as possible. So for me, all I'm trying to do, I don't want to overcomplicate it. We're trying to remember left, right, how many steps. So it's just plant my foot, exactly where I'd want it next to the ball when I kick it. So this is where I want the ball. It's not exactly next to it and it's not a meter away. It's just there, comfy next to the ball. I take it to that nice angle. This is where I know I want to come at the ball. And then it's just one, two, three, four. Just get myself nice and loose. Make sure my legs are sort of okay to kick a ball. And then the big thing that I'm thinking about, because I'm here for sort of you know 30 40 seconds from putting the ball down to kicking my legs will sort of go to sleep a little bit so those first two steps for me are about sort of waking my legs up again but then after that i actually want to go through nice and controlled so hence that little stop in the ball and then all i'm trying to do is just get all my weight through that ball and open up and close and really i try and not think about too many more things than that if you're trying to think about every little trigger to make the perfect kick, you're gonna have way too much to think about. So for me, it's just find where I wanna kick the ball, find my angle, go back, and then first two steps. And then you miss. <laughs> the other thing with me for goal kicking is that you need to, and I think this is why this is such a good drill, it is about sort of trusting your process as opposed to basing it off a result. For example, had a game yesterday and actually didn't kick that well. Um, had a good game otherwise, but off the tee, just had a bad day. Normally I sit around the sort of 84% success rate, but yesterday it just wasn't a great day with the tee, but I think you need to trust that you're still, all your triggers, all the things that you try and do each time are correct. Shot. So, uh, finished up with the sort of down the channel, pure process based stuff. We're gonna introduce a little bit of that sort of result based pressure. Try and goal kick without pressure is probably a bit naive because at the end of the day it is unavoidable. There is gonna be a kick that matters that sort of to win a game. So you want to actually train with a little bit of that pressure. So we're just gonna start 40 meters and just obviously aim through the sticks as you would in a game. Uh, nothing more than that before the competition, but obviously we're just introducing the post, introducing the idea of missing or go through. Feeling confident? Yeah, keen. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so, five kicks from the 10 metre line, just trying to still get that nice contact with the ball and obviously, hopefully, go through the post. It was close, but we're five from five. Ah, still under. But we're happy, five from five. So Five from five with the tens. We're now going to go into the competition, into the playoffs. Do you want to explain where we're going to kick from? One kick in each place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we'll go one from the 22, one from the 40, 15, 15, five, five. So six kicks. Six kicks. Yeah. Winner. Coffee. <sighs> Coffee. Sounds good to me. Do you want to do a little rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors? Shoot. Are we doing, yeah, one, two, three, shoot, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, on you. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Yeah, happy days. I'll that was the first. longest game I've ever played in my life. You'll go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Fine by me. Nervous. Oh, I thought I chunked it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he's nailed it. He's only got to nail it. Held. Come on! I'm now gonna pull it back by six. You just had to go first, didn't you? Great shot. <laughs> Woo! Some shots. Man, those ducks nearly put me off. Yeah, I was laughing as well. God, they're definitely on your team. Shot. Sticking in it. Woo! He's not going away. He's not going away, this lad. Five four. Five four, one kick to go. Huge. All I will say, it does, it happens to the very, very best of us. Like I said, that was me yesterday. <laughs> the pressure's been taken away. Will that benefit or will that hinder the process? Well played. Yeah, so competition done. Like I said, it sort of, you have got to sort of just trust your kicking process. I said I had a bad day with the uh, the boot yesterday in my game, but kicked all right today. Didn't do anything different. You've just got to keep going. How do you feel in that? Yeah, good. Yeah, just yeah. that's my process. Just two missed kicks, nothing major. You said you hadn't actually done that much goal kicking No, I haven't recently. goal kicked for a few weeks now, yeah. Yeah, good to get back into it. Yeah, keen. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Yeah, hopefully that provided some sort of insight into sort of a nice little kicking session. Uh, you obviously want to monitor it in terms of how much training you're doing, because it does take a lot out of the legs, sort of kicking, especially sort 11 of... kicks, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 so 11 kicks all together in the competition and already sort of feeling it a little bit. Um, but yeah, that was a competition. You good to go have a little chat? Yeah, yeah, happy with Let's go. Thank you very much for having me down uh, for this little skills session, uh, competition at the end, good fun. Um, I thought it might be nice just to chat a little bit about Advice Academy because like I said, I think it's pretty awesome what you're doing. Yeah, so if you sort of Take me through how it started really right. Okay. Uh, yeah, of course So I set up Advice Academy because I noticed the disparity in opportunities that state uh, Rugby players get so players who go to state schools um, There's a massive divide um, sadly 93% of the general population go to state schools uh, and The opportunities available are pretty pretty scarce so yeah, what we do is we just provide free half-term camps uh, that mimic an elite environment. Um, and what that means is that we have nutritionists, we have psychologists, we have quality rugby coaches and it's a three-day camp and we just, we try and bridge the gap in essence in terms of the opportunities available and these camps are completely free. Um, so yeah, that's it really. Oh, mate, that's, that's honestly, that's awesome. And I think it's a very important thing to do to sort of try and get rid of that stigma of, I mean, it is a, it is a private school sport. Yeah. Um, you know, similar to cricket in that respect. Uh, but like you said, there's so much talent that gets missed. Yeah, massive. Um, purely because they don't have that opportunity. So I think it's awesome what you're doing. In terms of the content that you're, cre you're creating, did you did you mean for it to, you know, blow up like it did? Um, uh, was that always the plan? Or is it something you enjoy doing, clearly? Yeah, yeah, like we enjoy it massively and, and boys get on board, which always helps. Uh, in terms of blowing up, not really. As probably most people say that, they didn't expect it. Um, but we just keep ticking over. For us, it's a massive marketing tool to get in front of as many rugby players as possible. Um, and people are loving it at the minute, so we'll just keep it up. And for you, for you personally, what, are you, what do you want out of rugby going forward? Is it about, you know, is it just about helping people? Are there more personal goals as well? Uh, I want to push rugby as far as I possibly can, but also widen participation and inclusivity in sometimes a closeted sport.
Mate, so. that's awesome. If you haven't already, please go follow Advice Academy on Instagram, TikTok. It's some really, really, not only entertaining, but very useful content uh, for you rugby players. Thank you very much for having me. That's all right. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.